Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Grigory Ionovich Ravinsky and Vasily Panov. This extremely beautiful chess game was played in Moscow in 1943. Ravinsky had white pieces and he started with e4. Panov played c5, the Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, e6, d4. C takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6, knight to c3, d6, the Schwenningen variation. It is white to move. Bishop to e2 is the most played move nowadays. Ravinsky played g3, intending to fianchet the bishop to g2. Knight to c6, bishop to g2, bishop to d7, castling black to move, a6 controlling b5 square, intending b5 in some variations. Bishop to e7 is the most played move nowadays. a6 was played, bishop to e3, rook to c8, queen to e2, b5 expanding on the queen side, a3, knight to e5, intending knight to c4, Rook from a to d1, knight to c4, bishop to c1, black to move, knight takes on a3, winning a pawn, white to move. If b takes on a3, then rook takes on c3. So was knight takes on a3 a clever move then? Well, black won a pawn but in the process forgot about his development. How can white take an advantage of that? Well, if you pawn in the castle, you want to open the e-file. So, e5 was asking to be played. d takes an e5, and now knight to c6, queen to c7, well, if rook takes on c6, then bishop takes rook. Queen to c7, knight takes on e5, knight to c4, bringing the knight back in the game. Knight takes on d7, knight takes on d7. Why to move? How would you continue now? Ravinsky played knight to d5, attacking the queen, queen to a7, knight to f4, knight from c to e5. It is a white move, and this is a very interesting moment. Black is intending bishop to e7 and castling king's side, and black would be okay. How can white prevent black from castling king's side? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Ravinsky played this awesome move. Rook takes on d7, the exchange sacrifice. Knight takes rook, what else if queen takes on d7, queen takes knight on e5. Back to our game, knight takes on d7. So, what did Ravinsky have in mind when he sacrificed the exchange? What is the follow-up? What would you do? Are you ready to see the follow-up? The follow-up is kaboom, knight takes on e6, sacrificing a piece for two pawns plus the attack. F takes on e6, queen takes pawn check, black to move. Bishop to e7 was played, if king to d8 then bishop to g5 check, and after king to c7, queen to c6 check, king to b8, bishop to f4 check, and white wins, back to our game. Bishop to e7, and now rook, to e1, threatening checkmate. Pano played queen to c5, defending the bishop. White move. How would you continue to attack? White would love to play bishop to g5, but it doesn't work, because queen would take the bishop. Ravinsky played b4, attacking the queen. Knight to f8. If queen takes on b4, white may play bishop to g5, or even bishop to f4, both moves are winning. Back to our game. 
knight to f8 attacking the white queen, queen to g4, keeping an eye on the rook, and attacking the pawn on g7. Queen to c3, defending the pawn on g7, and attacking the rook on e1. What is the best square for the rook? What would you do? Ravinsky played another brilliant move. What else? But rook takes on e7, check. King takes rook. Bishop to g5, check. King to d6, queen to d1, check. King to c7, bishop to f4, check. The power of the bishop here on display. King to b6, queen to d6, check. King to a7, queen to e7, check. Rook to c7. Bishop takes on c7, queen to a1, check. Bishop to f1, knight to g6, attacking the queen, queen to c5, check. King to b7, bishop to a5, rook to f8. If rook to c8, then queen to b6, check, with a winning attack. So we have rook to f8, white played a move when black resigned, and the move is queen to b6, check. Panov resigned. For the entertainment purpose, I will show you just one line. King to a8, queen to c6, check, king to b8, bishop to c7, check, king to c8, bishop to b6, check, king to b8, queen to c7, check, king to a8, queen to a7, check, mate. Wow, that was an amazing game, wasn't it? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.